Leo, welcome to your sexual magic, a deep dive reading for the month of August. I know I'm late, I know I'm late, but better late than never, okay? I said that on the Capricorn video too. Make sure you cross watch if you're uh, dealing with Capricorn because it was a really good read. Anyway, so um, we're going to dive in here, but before we do, I just want to say that they have restricted my channel to 18 plus only. I understand why there is sexual content in here, a lot of sexual content. Um, so, uh, in order to view my videos, you guys need to be logged into your accounts to prove that you are 18 plus. So otherwise you guys can't see my videos. So make sure you guys are always logged in when you're surfing for tarot on YouTube. Okay. So we're going to get into it. We're going to see who's coming towards you. We're going to see how this person feels about you, sexual energy, and a piece of advice for, um, for you to know how to get the best possible outcome out of the situation okay so we're gonna dive in here it's your birthday month guys birthday month for leo uh my best friend's a leo so you already know leo gang 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 so let's get into this leo who is coming towards leo in the month of august spirit please show me clearly two more cards please for leo Okay, we got it. We got it. Bottom of the deck, the world card, okay? Whoever is coming towards you, Leo, they are a wild one, okay? They're a wild one in the bedroom, okay? I'm almost picking up um, an energy of a lady in the sheets. Sorry, lady lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. Um, it could be male or female, gentleman in the streets, freak in the sheets. Any way you want to slice that cake. Um, we don't discriminate here against genders, sexual preferences, nothing, okay? We don't play that game here. We like everybody. Um, and so does this person. This person is very well traveled. This person is good looking. This person probably smells good, okay? They probably got a few jokes in their back pocket that they bring out to get you to giggle and take off your pants. Um, so I feel like this person is a good fucking time, okay? This person is a great time. I love the world energy. Um, it's a very confident energy. This person is fast paced, okay? They keep the shit moving. They don't play no games, all right? Um, I like this energy. I feel like this is Leo. Like, this is right up your alley. This is someone who's going to have some fun with you, okay? And I like it. I like it. And if you like it, I love it, okay? So let's get into this. We've got the Knight of Earth. You could definitely be dealing, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, crosswatch, okay? Um, we've got the Ten of Swords and we've got the Four of Swords, okay? So, Leo, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of air energy here. Um, we've got Virgo and you could be dealing with any fixed sign, okay, with the world card. Um, underneath that world card, we have the Tower. Hmm. Feels to me like this person's going to either come out of nowhere or when they come, they're going to be very intense, especially with this Ten of Swords energy, okay? I feel like this person is an intellectual. We have the Four of Swords as well. And then, like I said, we have that Aquarius energy. So there's a lot of air here. So this person's very smart, very witty, probably, like I said, pretty funny, especially with that world card. This person's got a lot of jokes, okay? I feel like there's a bit of dark humor mixed in there as well with that Ten of Swords. But I feel like this person, uh, they love to talk. They love to talk to you. Um, they just like to talk in general, okay, is what I'm picking up here, okay? But this person, yeah, they've got some dark humor, but they're... They're a very peaceful person. I feel like you're going to feel very relaxed in their company. I feel like um, they're definitely a charmer. I feel like this person is very sought after. People really like this person. This person really stands out in a crowd. Um, I feel like they might have um, a little bit of an individual kind of style to them, individual kind of personality. Like I said, I, I feel like this person's very charming, witty, um, quick wit is what I'm picking up here. Um, this person... This person could be a mu musician, not necessarily so. They could be like an actor, like I said, big personality, very funny. Um, this person, whatever this person does, this person is out there, okay? This person is not hermit. This person is not, you know, uh, sitting at home playing dominoes, okay? This person is out and about. They're social. Um, they're very, like I said, very attractive. I feel like this person is very sought after, um, not just because of looks, but also for personality as well. 
Um, I'm picking up a little bit more of a mature energy, okay? Um, I always do with the earth signs because earth is really rooted. It's very grounded, um, very solid individuals, okay? This person, this person, this person wants to flirt a bit, okay? This person wants to flirt a bit. This person's going to take their time. This person, like I said, they're going to tell some jokes. They're going to soften you up, okay? They're not an aggressive person, all right? They're very easygoing, fun-loving, charming. Whether this is a new person coming towards you, someone that you're dealing with, someone returning, it could very well be someone returning because we have the world card here and then we have the tower card underneath. Um, so, I mean, like I said, this person's going to show up abruptly, whoever this person is. And I feel like they're going to have an intense energy, but I feel like if they do have an intense energy towards you, it's because they are very attracted to you and they're really trying to charm you here. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. Um, but I like this energy. Okay. Sexually, I feel like this person's a little bit out of the box, okay? I feel like this person is a we aim to please kind of individual, okay? I feel like this person will be interested in switching positions quite often, okay? Um, but this person, I feel like there's a, I feel like there's a kinky side to them too with this ten of swords, like I said, like dark humor kind of deal. But it's like it's good, it's in good fun though. It's not like he's dark or he or she. It's not like this person is dark, but this person is definitely. I feel like they're very funny. I feel like. I feel like I would like this person <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but yes. Um, a more mature energy here with that earth. I feel like this person's going to take their time to get to know you. I feel like I'm almost picking up like a courting phase um, from this person. And uh, yeah, switching positions. Okay. I feel like this person is really into you on top. I feel like this person is, I feel like this person is really fun to sleep with. Okay, and that's great. That's a great energy. I feel like this person's going to bring you out of your shell if you're, you know, the type that's a little bit shy or, you know, like it, it's it's the humor that keeps that keeps the energy nice and it creates a very sexual vibe is, is what this person tries to achieve. Okay, so let's see how they're feeling about you. Okay, Leo? How is this person feeling about Leo? Please show me clearly. Ooh, we've got the nine of pentacles first out. Yeah, they like you. They're looking at you in a really good light. Ten of swords. Ooh. Six of cups. And we've got the three of cups at the bottom. Okay, so... Yes, this person thinks you are a really good time, okay? This person feels like they can have a lot of fun with you. They feel like you're super good looking, super abundant. Um, you're really confident within yourself. This person has no fear going after you. I'm almost picking up a soulmate energy here as well. I mean, that's... I mean, this is a sexual reading. Um, but this person, they feel very comfortable with you and... <laughs> it makes them really want to impress you here. It makes them, makes them really want to put in the work. This also could be someone returning from the past. Like I said, that's not for everybody. But we have the Ten of Swords here, which signifies that you might have hurt them in some way. I don't know how. Um, but if this is a new person, I feel like they <laughs> are in agony. <laughs> Because I feel like they either feel like you're going to reject them or you have rejected them once before and they're coming back around uh, to try again. Okay. Um, take it how it resonates. But if this is, this could have been somebody that you left in the past or maybe even they had to leave you, but it broke their heart. It could have been circumstantial. I'm not really sure here, but they're looking at you in some kind of way. Um, they're looking at you and still have an energy of like hurt here. Okay. If it's not that, if I were to take this in a sexual contents, content, um, this person thinks you're like freaking the sheets, kinky. Okay. The 10 of swords is like S and M, you know, if you go, if you go that far, if you don't go that far, I mean, take it how it applies, but you could be out of the norm for this person, even if it's not 
super extreme is what I'm trying to say here, okay? Or this is someone from your past that uh, you broke their heart. Um, but yes, so nine of pentacles, like, and I mean, we have the six of cups, which is reunion as well. So again, it could very well be someone from the past, but this person um, is coming back around here, okay? This person is going to be very persistent with you, okay? Um, they feel like you are worth the work, you are worth the wait, okay? I feel like this person feels as if there is nothing but abundant energy coming off of you. They feel like they connect with you very well. There's a very comfortable energy here with the Six of Cups. Um, even if they're new, like I said, when they meet you, they're able to connect with you very easily. It's a very warm energy, okay? Um, but yeah, this person's, they're looking at you in a really good light. This Ten of Swords is the only thing that's really throwing me off. I'm honestly going to clarify it, I think. Look at this. Underneath that three, <laughs> okay, Queen of Cups and the Lovers. So underneath that three of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be communication here. This could very well be someone from the past that you have been longing for and they finally made a decision to come towards you. I, it really depends on your storyline here. I'm talking to a lot of people. Um, but if not, this is someone that... Um, <laughs> might even be one of your friends it could be one of your friends friends anyways this person's coming in for a whirlwind romance here with this this eight of wands okay so they're looking at you like they want to talk okay they want to talk to you nice all right so let's let's dive into their sexual energy towards you see how this is going leo this is your birthday month so you're probably going to be out partying turning up okay covid is still here, but um, I know some people are out and about. Some people aren't. Personal choice, by all means. But um, it's your birthday. So, Leo, are you turning up or not? Because it seems like the social energy is where love is going to find you here. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. Look at that penetration. Yeah, this person's trying to get in your pants, okay? Like I said, they're charming the pants off of you. I really like this person's energy. Um, I feel like, yes, I, I didn't even clarify that Ten of Swords. I'm going to do it in a second. Actually, let me just do it before I get into the rest of the, the sexual energy. Rewind. I want to clarify this Ten of Swords. Can I have the Ten of Swords for Leo, please? Can I have the Ten of Swords for Leo? Yeah, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So you know what this is telling me? <laughs> it's telling me that they're looking at you in agony because they feel like you're going to make them wait, okay? I think there's a lot of pent-up sexual energy towards you here, okay? That they're trying to level out with the temperance card underneath, okay? King of Wands, passion. Mm -hmm. This person, underneath that was the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person... Um, Especially because the swords is air energy too. I feel like this person is looking at you thinking that they're going to have to take it slow with you. I feel like you're just not going to give it up as easy as maybe they'd want you to. Not that they think you're easy, but like, I feel like this person is thinking, shit, like this is the long game. Like I'm going to have to charm this person for more than one date here. Okay. As I feel like this person is, is thinking when they look at you here, they're like, fuck. I just want this person. I just want this person in my arms. I want this person on top. I want this person on the bottom. I want this person from the back, from the front, from the side. Okay, and this person is saying, fuck, you're gonna make me wait. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here, right? Or this person, they might have to take, they might have to take their time to get, you know, kinky with you here. Anyway, we've got this, okay. So we've got pinching. So what did I just say? We were talking about um, making them wait. I feel like this person, <laughs> I feel like this person, um, they just want you so bad. Like, I feel like this person, like, okay, so if I were to reference it, blue balls. Like, I feel like this person is just so horny for you and so aroused by you. And like, they cannot wait. And I feel like you're the type that you might be the type to make this person wait and kind of like play the long game with them, okay? Um, 
Yes, so we've got the Nine of Wands, which is actually caressing in this deck, all right? So yeah, like I feel like this person, they just want to close the gap. They want to put their hands on you. They want to explore your body, okay? They want to know what you look like naked if they haven't seen you. If they have seen you, they miss it. They want to see it, okay? They're in agony, agony here, all right? You've got the Magician. <laughs> this person, this person like devilish look at this guy he's like sharpening his sword like <laughs> he's ready for battle here okay he's ready for battle he is determined he's gonna make it happen he wants you he's looking at you like he just wants to bite into your flesh okay um is what i'm really feeling here we've got the knight of wands this is passion this person has nothing but passion <laughs> passion energy towards you bottom of the deck penetration like i said this person has <laughs> has no good intentions for you okay this person is interested in really um letting their sexual side shine here okay i feel like this person is ready to please with ease with okay especially with all this humor like i feel like this person is really fucking funny like i feel like this person um i feel like if you're a lighthearted energy you're gonna get you're gonna get on with this person really nicely okay um if like again if it's a, that's someone new but if it's someone from the past returning um you had a good connection with this person before Okay, you had a really good connection with this person before. And I feel like the sex was fun. I don't know what happened here. Maybe this person lost interest because um, things were kind of dragging out. Like I said, you had that Knight of Pentacles. Let me get you a piece of advice to see, you know, what you can do to get the best possible outcome in this situation. Okay, or what, sorry, or what not to do. All right. Show me for Leo, please. Piece of advice here. Ooh, so we got the Fool. Okay, so I actually love this combination. So we have the Death card, we have the Fool, and we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so if this is someone returning, I feel like, I feel like it's say, like Spirit is saying, accept this offer, jump in. I feel like something has changed with this person if they're returning. I feel like something has changed with this person. Okay, and they're coming back in. Six of Cups is also soulmate energy. I think I said that earlier. We have it twice here, okay? Just saying. Um, Six of Cups, I feel like, I feel like this person, like there's just a nice energy between the two of you and I feel like there always has been. So, so despite if there's any mud in the water, Spirit is saying just go for it. Like just jump off the fucking cliff don't think about it. Just do it, okay? I feel like there's a very nice energy between the two of you, okay? If this person's returning. If this person is new, the advice is let go of any belief that you have about one night stands, about letting your guard down, about about anything. This, this death card is telling me to let your guard down. Step on any insecurities that you have because you have a really exciting electric opportunity here with someone that you're going to feel comfortable with okay someone that's going to make you feel comfortable so spirit is saying take that fucking chance that is how you get the best up, um possible outcome like i'm really feeling like don't play hard to get here like if this person is new like do not play hard to get like just go for it okay just fucking dive in right let me get you a monology here for your birthday all right, Leo. Happy birthday to all the Leos. Let me get, I actually wasn't even ready. I don't even want this. I'm going to get... I wasn't even... Okay. I'm not ready. I haven't knocked on the cards, okay? I always knock on the cards first. All right, Spirit. Show me for Leo, please. Let me get one more for their birthday. We'll get two. For their birthday. One more. Okay. So we actually got three here. I didn't mean to, but so first card out, it's a time to give rather than take new moon in Vir Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Also, like I said, we had that fool card here. All right. Time to give rather than take. Just give it up. 
okay (laughs) just give it up like just dive in just take the chance take the leap let go okay that's what i feel with that card then we have um it's time to release negativity what did i say about that release any like if there's bad blood fucking let it go let it go okay if there's um if you have any insecurities let it the fuck go full moon and scorpio if you're dealing with a scorpio okay then we have what do you need to release like like double confirmation what do you need to release negativity okay insecurity don't be on that bullshit all right just be on a nice vibe this person i feel like this person has such nice energy okay so leo happy birthday don't forget to like subscribe comment down below please make sure you're um you're signed into your account or you will not see my readings okay if you're interested in a personal all the information you could ever need is down below in the description box love and light take care guys